Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by if you're new here. Uh, today's video will be about parrots. You probably noticed I'm sitting again uh, in front of uh, my parrot play stand. Um, so this video will be about five common mistakes to avoid as a bird owner. If you want to watch uh, more, please continue to watch this video. I'll get started here shortly. <laughs> because it's about nutrition um, your uh, parrot can eat more than just seeds so don't try to feed just the seeds because it's a bird and you saw that other wild bird for example uh, eat only seeds um, parrot that lives uh, indoors they need more nutrition than just the seeds that have like a you know just a fat uh, for um, wild birds it's probably okay because they exercise 10 times more than they always on the hunt for food and they spend way more energy than just indoor parrots um, for indoor parrots um, pellets a little bit of seeds and um, fruits, veggies, that's uh, probably better um, uh, nutrition uh, than just the seeds. So check with your vet, um, read more about that, but don't just, um, you know, feed your parrot just the seed. I th it needs a little bit or way more than um, just the seed. So that's a uh, first common mistake that I hear from um, bird owners. Uh, that they did in the beginning so second and also important that uh, research uh, where in your local area uh, vet um, and emergency vet um, avian vet is, is way harder to find than for example regular dog and cat vet because uh, there was usually not um, as much avian specialist in the area um, even though um, they have a vet avian vet in the area sometimes if it's like for example emergencies they only work certain day in a week so try do your homework research way in advance hopefully uh, you don't have to call those numbers but be prepared just in case have those numbers Call, the, um, call those numbers uh, before the emergency, ask for their schedule, what they work, because sometimes, even though it's an avian vet, they don't take certain species, like they feel not comfortable dealing with larger birds, or um, they only work on Tuesdays. So do your uh, homework before um, you, know, you actually have to use that number. Um, so the third most, uh, the third common mistakes to avoid is to keep your bird um, in a cage all day. Again, um, I do have other videos um, where I mentioned that you probably have to invest um, in like a place stand. Doesn't have to be this huge. Just um, something outside of the cage so your bird can exercise, uh, spend quality time you know, spread the wings, but keeping the bird in the cage, probably uh, not a good idea, um, especially if it's like every day. So that's, uh, try to avoid that um, with your bird. Um, so speaking with um, cages, uh, probably other um, mistake to avoid is to uh, buy small cage. Um, so. Uh, you can pro you can um, research uh, you know for your bird what's minimum, but larger uh, the cage are better for your bird. But buying just very small tiny cage is 
not a good idea because you uh, your bird needs some space to move around especially if it sits there for a long time and then um, my last um, advice to you will be do the research do your homework before you actually bring your bird uh, to your home uh, research everything uh, that you can find um, on the internet um, I do have a um, brochure for the first time order I will um, clip it right here <laughs> for you uh, this is just a, it's not everything but it's a quick start to help you what do you need what to uh, not waste time and kind of ori orientate you uh, just for like a first things that you need I'll clip it here and um, it's a small brochure that you can download from Amazon and um, if you want to watch my other videos about um, first time or a bird owner and other parrot videos uh, you can find that on my channel and uh, thanks so much for uh, watching till the end and I'll see you next time.